Reconnect and heal today. Welcome to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Hello and welcome to Love Never Dies Radio on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network and Dr. Turndorf Turn on the Love on Binge Networks Television. So according to my guest today, the only power worth having is knowing. And I would like you to meet Dr. Richard London, who is known as the father of wisdom. And he says, there is so much uncertainty in our world today, and people know that the tools of the past are no longer working for them. Dr. Richard London, my old and dear friend, he's been dubbed the father of wisdom. He's a world-renowned author of Laughing with God, The Ultimate Guide to Enlightenment. Dr. London is a global master teacher who taught the law of attraction over 40 years prior to the release of The Secret. He's a world leader in bringing business intelligence, new technologies, and new profound wisdom to humanity and the world. He is the leading visionary manifestation business intelligence coach in the world, having served as the CEO, chief education officer, CVO, CMO, and VMBC of several companies, as well as being a business consultant for over 25 years. Dr. London provides the tools that work in the 21st century. His, client, his clients include famous media, entertainment personalities, industry and corporate leaders, heads of state, major organizations worldwide. He's the founder of 14 world charities. As the CEO of Prodigy Mind Companies, which website is www prodigymind.com. He directed the building of 200 plus web-based companies that educate professionals and are devoted to transformational language and wisdom that creates what he calls a wellness lifestyle. His road to yes, faith is power world tour, communicate to wealth and words that create miracles in your life are all systems and slogans that move you forward into wellness, creating a new revolutionary life path that provides the blueprint for creating and becoming what he calls a wellness heir, abundant in wealth, wellness, peace, love, and spirituality. And Dr. London is also the creator of a new authentic media experience called Divine Media Entertainment, which uses transformational language and wisdom to enable humankind to create success and wealth with no limits. His motto is, great language equals great life. So without further ado, welcome, Dr. Richard London. Hello. Welcome, Jamie. How well, are you? <laughs> I'm good, Richard. So we, this is like, hello from the other side. In the beginning, there was the word. The word right. repeating itself. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm floating right now after all those words. I mean, it, you know, your, the words of your, your wonderful bio or the words in the beginning of the show. You know, I have been told, I'm, I'm sure you know what I'm, I bring so much light that the technologies are constantly messing right. up for me because the little, the, the darker energies, the lower energies like to try to mess with me. I didn't say the word that we were saying before we went on air. Right. I was good. Because I didn't want everybody to uh, keel over from the word that I was thinking but didn't say. So anyway. Well, I, Jamie, one of the things I noticed, your lioness energy is really coming out. You know, you know that, right? You, you can tell me that. I wasn't. A, roar, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> listeners, you're, you're, you're in store for a bumpy road that leads to joy gratitude and love so you want to be on any road that leads to joy gratitude and love Let's talk more about your work and how you pe how you guide people to achieve this wellness their lifestyle what's your method how do you help people get there well my my method is very practical my method is very practical and logical because remember i've had all these powers since a child Imagine four years old, you're poor, and you're walking down the street and you go, oh, God and I are going to create pennies. 
Then it moved up to dollars, envelopes, white envelopes filled with money. And so by the age of eight, I had 13 children working for me and I oh, was earning. Oh, oh. I thought you were going to say by the age of eight, you had 13 children. And I <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been really neat. <laughs> that would have been the, 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 the immaculate conception there. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so I, had, I had 13 children working with me and today's standards I was making over 330,000 US dollars. So I learned that I had gifts. So listeners out there, if you have gifts, you got to use your gifts. So one of the things I was in retirement, I came out of retirement, mainly to help people move into fifth dimension. What is fifth dimension? I call it automating your life. People need to automate their life and finally get rid of all their stuff. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, the world is telling us we're in crises. I'm telling everybody we're in a world of change and transformation. It's a new earth. It's a really new earth. And one of the great things about this real new earth, mother nature is happy ecstatic the skies are beautiful the animals are coming out so the process that i go through it, remember your past is in stone your future is in paper so i take all your stuff i mean all your stuff all your unhealthy agreements all the chambers of your heart that are not optimized correctly most people don't know everybody came in with a life or soul plan you know that jamie but humans don't know what their soul plan looks like. So what I do is I go into their Akashic records, I find out what their soul plan looks like, all their life lessons, all their stuff, no judgment, no opinion. And we go through a process of automating their life. It's eight weeks, eight steps. They become fifth dimensional. They're in their real, divine, purposeful life. So better to explain it, you know, everybody has 5,000 pieces of their life soul puzzle. The majority of people could have anywhere from 500. I checked a very famous person. His name is DT, without mentioning any names. And he's the leader of the U.S., he had 3,000 pieces of his soul puzzle out of alignment. So because it's out of alignment, you really can't function in this earth the way that you need to. So by automating your life, and the, 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 the way I came up with this process divinely was I love all my homes are completely automated. And I says, why can't someone become 5D and they don't have to die. They don't have to go through all these process. They can get rid of all their stuff. Then it took about two or three weeks. And I was guided with the system. So it's a question of, I call it sonorous energy programming. Nobody else in the world is able to do it. I can actually program everything. Water, words, actions. And when you're able to program with a high vibration, there's only one thing you can do. It becomes real. Yes, your life becomes real, real. You co-create with God every minute of the day. How's your co-creation coming, Jamie? In this very moment? Yes. I'm just listening to you and just fascinated by what you're describing. And I, I just love to support you and co-create the expansion of your mission. So my mission is more and more people 5D in this lifetime. For you listeners out there who believe in reincarnation, there's an inner school now. So everybody who doesn't become 5D or fifth dimensional, they're gonna to have to go to inner school and go basically through a purification process. So why not be 5D now? No karma, no life lessons, no past, 
if you have if you had two husbands or ten husbands or ten wives or there's a person who has 29 who's had 29 wives in california you still could become 5d on this earth so explain to people who don't who are watching or listening what does 5d mean fifth dimension is what it's short for but what okay. does that mean for somebody okay who know? The, the simplest way to describe it is we were prior to approximately eight years ago, December 22nd, 2012, we were carbon-based humans. So that means we had a beginning and an end. It could be 10 years, it could be 50, it could be 100 years. On December 22nd, 2012, when the universe, God, who whatever people believe in, decided there would be one earth, and that humans would have a possibility of going into the divine purposeful life, your DNA started changing from carbon-based DNA to crystalline DNA. So the original form of everybody's energy in the entire world, Jamie's, mine, my wife's, it, it's crystalline energy and it has a high, high vibration. So unfortunately, Many men in the world, they, their, their crystalline energy is only about 8 to 12 percent, where women, 23 to 35 percent. And so when you become 5D, your, your actual DNA changes completely from carbon to crystalline. So therefore, you're able to co-create with God. So let me give your listeners practical examples. So I'm standing in front of the door of a department store and I said to my wife, I would, I want to buy something today for 90% discount. Are they paying me to buy it? That's an absurd statement for most people. I walk in the store, my wife goes to the shoe department. I go down to the men's department and I pick a very high end expensive shaver at a price on it, $300. This is a big department store. He, he put it in, uh, into the computer based on the barcode, charged me $30, exactly 90% of the purchase price. So they basically paid me $270 to buy the item. That's a very practical, logical example. For you listeners out there who are female, I have a favorite store that I programmed to be my treasure store. I walked in it a month ago to buy my wife early uh, birthday presents. I see this dress, I automatically gravitate towards it. It had a price tag of 1,800 US dollars. I bought it for $15 and I'm gonna be giving it to my daughter. So that's a very two practical examples. The other examples in a high end, your vibration goes, a normal person's vibration on this earth from about 110 to 200. If you're a healer, it could go from 200 to 999. But when you're fifth dimensional or when all your DNA is crystalline, your vibration is in the tens of thousands. So your ability to create is basically limitless, but it's not just your co-creation with God. Remember, you don't have any more stuff. Yeah, wherever you, you walk, stuff, you're no happy. Baggage. You mean no karmic bad baggage by stuff? That's what you mean? No life lessons, no karma, no emotional triggers. Because in the process that I created, you know about emotional triggers. I think I know what you mean. Wait a minute. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> like that. That's why you feel like you're challenging my ego. <laughs> yeah. So the majority of humans on earth, they are really run by their emotions and their emotional triggers. So in the process of becoming fifth dimensional, you, you don't have any more emotional triggers. Really, you're basically happy all the time. But there's another big thing, mind chatter. 
you've had hundreds of thousands of patients who have mind chatter. If you have mind chatter, you're not able to receive the knowing, the solutions, the answers to your life. It's yeah. too much static. Yeah, I too mean, much static. You yeah. can't get the transmission or the broadcast because the static is interfering. Right, so I wanna tell you, listeners, a, a little fast joke. So this man decides he's gonna change his life. He donates a lot of money from charity, he uh, loses a lot of weight, he buys new clothes, he's nice to his wife, and his life, he's trying to turn it around. He walks out of his office to cross the street and he's killed. He's angry, angry, he goes up to God and says, God, I changed my life, I'm a good person, I donated money to charity, I lost weight. I change, I'm nice to my wife, nice to my kids. God looks at him and says, I didn't recognize you. So <laughs> in, in the world we live in, the higher the vibration, the more God recognizes you. Yes. You know, there are millions of people going to churches all over the world and, and they pray for money. The reason they don't receive money I'm sorry to tell you, God doesn't hear you. Yes, but God hears every child. And unfortunately, when Jamie and I were little kids, really super connected, all children are super connected. When you become of the cognizant age, 11 to 13, you become disconnected, and then you have to rebuild your relationship with God. And, and also trauma. So as you know, the right. trauma makes you lose your connection. You know, it lowers your vibration. It depletes the magnesium, which um, affects the electromagnetic signals. And then you're less able to tune. So absolutely. Yeah. And there's another area that people don't understand. Lots of people are passionate about sports. They're passionate about ice cream. They're passionate about sex. So there's a lot of passions. But these are human passions. When you become 5D, fifth dimensional, and all crystalline energy, I love Belgian chocolate ice cream. And I eat this ice cream only, I have 16 pets now in my house. One of my pets just had five puppies. We, did, we rescued her, we didn't know she was pregnant. Her name is Princess. But I only eat ice cream with Angel. And when I'm having ice cream with Angel, my soul's passion is in the millions, millions, millions. Imagine having that feeling in everything you do. Walking down the street, your soul passion is just radiating. Wait a minute. I just want to make sure we're going to take a break, but I sure. want to make sure I understand your point. Are you suggesting that the, the endorphin rush that people get when they eat ice cream is the feeling you have all the time when you're in 5D? Yes. That's what yes. you're saying. Okay, so yes. I, 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 that's very clear. We're going to take a break. We're going to be back in a moment. You don't need to go eat ice cream. Just sit with us energetically, and you're going to just be on a soul high. We'll be back with you in a moment. Hi, it's Dr. Jamie Turndorf here, and I have a question for you. Are you or someone you love a veteran suffering from undiagnosed PTSD? According to statistics, between 100 and 200,000 vets suffer PTSD. But did you know that there's an arbitrary diagnostic loophole that denies the PTSD diagnosis to vets who suffer a coexisting mental health disorder? Meanwhile, according to the British Psychiatric Journal, it is rare for vets to suffer PTSD without a coexisting mental health disorder. This means that millions of vets with PTSD don't even know they have it and aren't getting treatment for it. 
Read my new column, Winning the War on PTSD, in mastersofhealthmag.com and discover a cutting-edge, research-backed new solution to PTSD that you've never heard about. The exciting news is this solution is free for vets with PTSD. Go to mastersofhealthmag.com, take my free PTSD quiz right away, and start your healing journey today. Wishing you all the love in this world and beyond. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you yearn to get along better with your life partner or spouse, friends, family members, and even co-workers, Dr. Turndorf's book, Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship shows you how to turn conflict into connection for a lifetime of lasting love. Find out more about Kiss Your Fights Goodbye at AskDrLove.com. This is Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. This show is for you, the listener. Once again, here's Dr. Turndorf. Hello again, and welcome back to Love Never Dies Radio on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network and Dr. Turndorf, Turn on the Love on Binge Networks TV. I'm talking with Dr. Richard London, the father of wisdom. And before the break, we talked about how you can go into fifth dimension uh, state of being. And the analogy you used was the ecstasy that people get, that endorphin rush when they eat a delicious ice cream is the state that you can be in all the time when you're in 5D, right? Yes, because what happens is when your DNA changes from carbon-based DNA to crystalline DNA, your soul becomes on fire. So there's greater gratitude, greater joy in the intensity of your life because everything you do, the energy that you're releasing and the energy that you're taking in. I mean, you could walk down the street, you can find money on the street, you you can start talking to strangers. Everything happens positively in your life with ease, with ease. And one of the things I wanted to mention to the listeners is that one of the things that happens in automating your life is which is 5d automate your life is just a modern term that i gave it is you become infinite worth imagine you become infinite worth yes and also you become the authentic version of your soul the authentic version of your soul everybody's been striving they they want to be an authentic person but imagine jamie be becoming the authentic version of your soul you know what that means like yeah you're in total alignment with the deepest part of your soul so and you know a lot of time i think there's a great push now for people to what's my calling in life but that's an expression of what is my soul's purpose what is my destiny you know i i don't know if i ever told you this but you know i was born three months early and i only weighed two pounds and i spent the first three months in the preemie hospital and a psychic said to me your your calling formed in the preemie nursery where you made the decision 
to connect souls. You didn't want anyone to feel the disconnection and the pain you were feeling. So I'm connecting souls on the earth plane, connecting earth and spirit planes. You know, it's all about connecting souls. So I find that when we talk about what is our soul destiny, what is our truest calling, it's generally out of the thing that was the most difficult, you know, in terms of your experience on the earth plane, you're the most painful. That's like a clue to what your soul path is, your authentic soul calling. Yeah. Yes, you're, you're right. Believe it or not, I was Buddha's teacher in a past life. Buddha had a great personality, and I kept on saying to Buddha, you know, I love you as this human being walking on this earth, but some of your doctrines do not pass it on to mankind, because we're not here to suffer at all. If anybody's suffering out there, and there's literally hundreds of millions of people, you do not have to suffer. Right. I'll give you that's like a very Christian concept, you know, Jesus on the cross, suffering, right. model yourself after his suffering, right? You're not right. buying into that, your example. Yeah. And when you're, when you're crystalline energy, obviously you're not suffering, but you, you don't need to suffer now. The first thing I said to myself, I knew this virus was coming years before it happened. So I was well prepared. But the first thing I said, everything is like normal. Everything's like normal. And everything is like normal. So on Mother's Day, in this world of quarantine, I got up. I had breakfast with my wife. I played with my animals. Then I went to town. First thing I did was buy my wife her favorite tortillas. Then I bought her lilies. She likes lilies. Then the universe created this lady I had never seen who made these handmade gifts. I bought her several handmade gifts. Then I bought her jewelry. And then I bought her two of the nicest dresses now in her clothing connection, all under so-called quarantine. Yes, even the word quarantine is a horrible word. Divorce is a horrible word. There's a lot of words are horrible because they have a lot of energy connected. So one of the things I would like all the listeners to do right now, I'm gonna give you an exercise. And it's really going to help. There's only two energies that exist on this earth. Make it simple for everyone. There's no and yes, I know. So no is negative energy in the world we live in. Yes, I know is divine energy. Yeah. So I want you to raise your hands right now. I got my hands raised. And when you want anything in your life, you go, yes, I know. And you bring it in. You bring it in from the universe, from every part of the universe. But you have to go, yes, I know, 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 yes, I know. Nine times. Nine is the infinite number that exists. Why is numbers so important? Because numbers have a certain sound and they have a certain vibration. So if you're stuck in your world and you don't know what to do, first thing you do, don't say no. Jamie, when I was a little boy, God said, the one thing you cannot say to any, your parents, teachers, any authority figures is the word no. <laughs> so my entire childhood, it was yes, mom, Yes, dad. Yes to my teachers. Then as soon as I walked out of the door, I did exactly as I pleased. I was 100% free. And I was never domesticated. Believe it or not, everybody in the universe, as soon as your parents said no to you, they domesticated to you. They domesticated you. And it ah. is, it's crushing your soul and your spirit and everything. It's really clipping your, your figurative wings. Now, I want, I want to be like devil's advocate, if I may. Sure. And sure. ask you, if, if somebody does, yes, I know, yes, I know, nine times with that beautiful gesture, and it doesn't work, what do you say okay. to that person? Okay. Millions of people use the law of attraction, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Nothing will work if you're blocking it. Your language can, can block it. 
But what if you say the right words? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. And you're feeling all the feelings and you're affirming it and you're saying it with that energy of it's a done deal and it still doesn't happen. Okay. If you're saying it from your heart, more than likely it will work. Most people, when they want something or they want to change something, they're saying it from the brain. The brain doesn't have the vibrational energy to do the creative process. The way it basically works, and I'm going to tell your listeners a big secret. So you can take words, powerful words, which have vibrational energy, and that energy can create electromagnetic energy, and then you can create atoms. That's really the, the process of creation. That's the secret process. But the key is faith. So if it's not working for you, it generally is the faith-based. Jamie, do you know what empirical faith is? Tell me. Empirical faith, see, we grow up learning cultural faith. That's the faith we learn from our parents, the religious leaders, our teachers, and so forth. So empirical faith is every second, every minute, every hour, throughout your existence as energy in a human being, your faith is growing and growing and growing. So can a person who doesn't have empirical faith grow into the shoes of empirical faith? Of course, yes. So people have what you call cultural selective faith. When they need God or they need something, they go to a higher source. I never need anything. And that's the big secret. When you don't need wealth, when you don't lead, I tell my wife all the time, I don't need you to love me because I love me and God loves me. And so my animals, I'm the sort of disciplinary with my animals and my wife said, all my animals are love and adore me. They jump on me and I have big animals and they're jumping all over me. And it's because... I am love. So in becoming fifth dimensional, all the things you want, you become wealth internally. You become love. You become gratitude. You become joy. All those things are now part of your soul and they're working. When something's not working, it's generally faith-based. You know, lots of- Or like you mean, like a belief that blocks you. Yes, it's a belief that blocks you, yes. Right. And it could, and it could be, you know, when in most human soul plan, they have unhealthy agreements. So the three major life lessons that people come in, as you know, Jamie, are the love lesson, the abandonment lesson, and the financial lesson. And the worthiness lesson, self-love and worthiness. Those are the major lessons that people come in. And so... In coming in with those lessons, there's a belief system that is attached to those lessons. So they can't get out of the lesson. They try. It's like, uh, it's like you or me having a patient who's had uh, 10 horrible boyfriends that never loved them. To be loved in this world, you know what it takes. The number and one ingredient in being loved is you got to be lovable. Right, Jamie? Yes. You have to be lovable. Well, you have to feel the love for yourself, right? Yes. That makes you lovable. Yeah. Right. And it's yeah. sort of like what I was thinking is when you don't need anything, it comes to you because you're already full. It's like the Messiah always comes the day after you need him. You know, I don't right. need it. And it's just sort of like I'm already overflowing. I don't yeah. need the water. Yeah, I remember seeing this very attractive woman driving a Corvette, brand new Corvette. She had a license plate. The one who wins in life is the one that has the most toys. <laughs> the real statement should be the one that needs the least wins. So I have this phrase, when you, be, when you automate your life and become fifth dimensional, 
It's like winning the lottery of life because whatever you want, you just create it from, from day to day. Yes. And what you're saying is that the wanting really, as you become more fifth dimensional, is you don't want so much the toys. You don't really need the toys. The joy is in the communion with nature and spirit and the animals. That is such wealth. Yes, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. But if you desire the materialistic things, like one of my clients for my birthday, they gave me a $3 million birthday party which included a Bugatti and two other of my favorite cars. That's part of your experience. So your experience on, on earth here just expands. Why not have an, if you have a choice, okay, why not have an extraordinary life instead of just a normal life? You know, one of the, what Let's take I... a break. Hold that thought, okay? Okay, sure. Because, because we have to take a break. We'll be back in a moment on Love okay. Never Back Radio and Dr. Turndorf. Turn on the love. Back with you in a moment. It's Dr. Jamie Turndorf here, and I have a question for you. Are you or someone you love a veteran suffering from undiagnosed PTSD? According to statistics, between 100 and 200,000 vets suffer PTSD. But did you know that there's an arbitrary diagnostic loophole that denies the PTSD diagnosis to vets who suffer a coexisting mental health disorder? Meanwhile, according to the British Psychiatric Journal, it is rare for vets to suffer PTSD without a coexisting mental health disorder. This means that millions of vets with PTSD don't even know they have it and aren't getting treatment for it. Read my new column, Winning the War on PTSD, in mastersofhealthmag.com and discover a cutting-edge, research-backed new solution to PTSD that you've never heard about. The exciting news is this solution is free for vets with PTSD. Go to mastersofhealthmag.com, take my free PTSD quiz right away, and start your healing journey today. Wishing you all the love in this world and beyond. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Love Never Dies is now on the Dream Vision 7 radio network every Wednesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the number one international best-selling author of Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, tune in and find out how to reconnect and heal any unfinished business using Dr. Turndorf's groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique. Visit AskDrLove.com to find out more. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. You're listening to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. If you can't stop crying over the bodily loss of a loved one, Dr. Turndorf's number one international bestseller, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, will show you how to toss out the tissues and transform your grief into joy using her groundbreaking new Dialoguing with the Departed technique that enables you to reconnect and even heal unfinished business with those in spirit without the assistance of a medium, channeler, or psychic. Sign up for Dr. Love's free newsletter at AskDrLove.com and receive an exciting gift, a free excerpt of Love Never Dies. And now, back to Love Never Dies with Dr. Jamie Turndorf. Welcome back to Love Never Dies Radio on Dream Vision 7 Radio Network and Dr. Turndorf, Turn on the Love on Binge Networks TV. I'm talking with my dear Dr. Richard London. He is the father of wisdom. Before we took the break, he was talking about 
how abundance is yours when you live in the 5G, 5, 5D, not 5G, 5D. 5D. <laughs> big difference, big difference. So you were saying. Jamie, what will really resonate with you is this is the first time in the history of mankind that humans can live in divine love. And let me explain. So nobody really, really taught people how to love. So when humans grow up, they only know really what I call cultural love. That's the love they learn from their parents, from their grandparents, from the teachers, from their religious leaders, from their friends. And then as they grow up, they learn, hopefully they learn a love called unconditional love. But in the world we live in, humans now use unconditional love to create conditions. I'll love you if you do this. I'll love you if you do that. So in this process, this new earth and humans becoming all crystalline energy, you become pure divine love, pure divine love. Only one-tenth of one percent of the 64 billion souls that have ever lived on this earth have ever experienced divine love. Yes, imagine, no more cultural love, no more unconditional love with all those conditions, but pure divine love. So what value does pure divine love has? It would be like winning a lottery, winning the lottery of life, having the best dinner of your life, having the best sex of your life, um, opening up a, a billion dollar successful company. That's what divine love is like. And divine love emanates in your entire soul and it has this great vibration connected. Cultural love, okay, I'm looking at cultural love with a normal person, maybe it's vibrating 108 to 132. Unconditional love, with no conditions, maybe it's vibrating as much as 323. Divine love, infinite. Could vibrate at 50,000, at 500,000, at 5 million. So, it's Jamie. Conceivable, unless you felt it, it's like you're speaking a, 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 like a, a foreign language, but it is the most inconceivable feeling. Right, you, know, you, you felt divine love, with your husband yes he he radiated divine love yes so i'm going to give you an example my wife was born in an orphanage believe it or not she lived in an orphanage from a child to 20 years old in an orphanage with nuns running her life and so she watches thousands of these spiritual programs thousands Every single day, she's watching all these programs. So she's not getting the solutions. She's not getting the answers. So I said, write down everything you want to know. Everything you want to know. So she wrote, wrote down everything she wanted to know about her existence and her future and everything. I answered all those questions. And then she said to me, you know. So unfortunately, Many of the spiritual leaders in the world, they're still seeking the answers themselves. But in becoming fifth dimensional and such a high vibration, you really know. Yeah, it's as simple as that. You know. You make the correct decisions. One thing I pride myself, I always do the correct things. My wife comes to me and she says to me, I want to go to Acapulco next month with my sisters. I immediately said yes, because she's spending more time doing things in the house because of what's going on in the world. But to honor that, I bought her a completely new wardrobe. Jamie, how many pieces of clothes do you believe is a new wardrobe for a woman? I can't even fathom. No. A thousand, a no. hundred. Yeah, I bought her nearly a hundred new That's pieces. That's so, so giving and you really you are like, I was listening to you, and the way you behave reminds me of my husband. There's a kind of feeling of 
Yes, it's an open-armed feeling. I am not without, I'm generous. I'm an overflowing well of yes. There's no yep. limits. That's how you feel to me. And that is that overflowing love of the fifth dimension. There's no that's, limit. That's why Emil and I, we always got along in so many lifetimes is because our vibrational energy was always high. His energy resonated with me. Mine with, with him. No conflict whatsoever. Never. I can't remember any life having one word that wasn't at the highest vibration. Mm -hmm. And so generous. Yes. Why not be generous in, in your life? Absolutely. Be, and be, you can be generous also with your heart. You know, oh, yeah. I think about... You know, when, when somebody asks something of me and of you, that your heart is open. The feeling is yes. How can I be responsive to you? How can I give you what it is you're asking? The feeling is yes. What you were saying before, yes. Like when I, when I walk in this world and I see people begging, first thing I do, a lot of people have their head down. I will not give anybody any money unless I can see their eyes. This, this one man, he plays a guitar and his legs are hobbled. He has these beautiful, beautiful green eyes. And every time I see him, I walk over to him. I just give him money. He knows I'm going to give him money. He just looks at me and he goes, gracias. In that experience, it's worth any amount of money. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth a zillion dollars. And here's a, a big point. The universe, the ethereal plane, all the angels, whatever people believe in, they know nothing about denomination or time. That's right. That's you can right. easily ask for a billion in asking for a penny. Yes. Exactly. Now, in the last five minutes, yes. I would like people to know what you're offering, because I know that you sent me info about April Vargas, and you're offering a phone opportunity to yes. move through the tough times. A yes. Planned. So talk about how people can find you, what you're offering, all your coordinates, right? Sure. So you, you can go to the website automate a life or you can go to faith is power love.com that's I, I have a new book it's called faith is power that's one of my new websites the offer on this program is people i'm trying to save people's sanity and move them forward so you can have an actual real real interview with me and what i'm going to do is strategically move you forward in your life, get you out of this hump. Believe it or not, as you know, Jamie, many people in the world, they're, they're experiencing walking depression. Yes, they're depressed and they don't even know it. So I'm here on this earth. And maybe if I share a quick story, 13 years old, I'm in, a, in gardening class. Because of my energy, all the plants are growing. I'm a great gardener. And so I get selected future farmer of America. I'm 13 years old, future farmer of America. I'm sitting at this big award ceremony. They're going to give me this big giant award. And I go, I don't want to be a farmer. That's too boring. And so I'm the greatest farmer on this earth because I plant seeds. So that... All the seeds that I plant, guess what? They always 100% germinate. So in the offers, and personally talking with me, I'm removing negative imprinted memory while I'm talking with you. And I'm, what I'm doing is energetically reprogramming your life so it can move forward. Yes. And at the highest vibration. And this is, you do over the phone. Yes. I do, we do it via Zoom, yes, or by telephone. It doesn't make any difference because remember, as I'm 
on this conversation, I'm in the Akashic Records. You know what the Akashic Records is, right, Jamie? Yeah. yeah. So listeners, the Akashic Records is like your book of life. It has your past, has little pieces of your future, but the future is only in paper. So while I'm 24 hours a day, I'm in the Akashic Record. So basically, I'm connected to your information and then re-energizing your body so it moves forward. So it starts you on the best track. And so, is, this a, is there a fee for this, this session? Yes, it's, it's very minimal. The fee is around $100. Yes. Very minimal. Yeah. And, and then, um, so this is the offer. And again, tell people where they can fi find this and schedule this. Yeah, well, they, they, can, they can write to you and you could forward it over to me if they would like. Or they can, we, they can go to, we can put it on your, your dedicated web page on my, uh, yeah. you have a web page. And I think that you, you asked people to contact April Vargas at 720-213-8201 or 405-738-6899 right. or 603-865-7345. Seven three four five, and we can add this. We'll add this to your show page. Yeah. So the main thing is, you need to do something. You can't live in your stuff and move forward. There's so much craziness going on in this world, but your life doesn't have to be crazy. And one of one of one of the things I wanted to tell you, listeners, what's really important: ninety percent of all business in the world in the near future are going to be home-based business. Ninety percent. 10% bricks and mortars, 90% home-based business. So there's millions and millions of opportunities. The wellness, the internet, education, environment, those are going to be four strong areas with millions and millions of jobs. So if you get on the right path and you save yourself from sanity by really moving yourself forward with me, your life can be as great as you would like. Yeah. And then there's the opportunity for you to automate your life too. I can't believe we're out of time. It just, you know, when you're in the spirit realm, there is no time, but unfortunately right. we are out of time, but my door is always open to you to come back anytime to talk about whatever it is you want to share, whatever you want to offer, because this is really a humanitarian effort for you, for humanity, you know? So, I want to save lives and I want to move them forward. And, and, so, do, and so does Emil. He, he, he's doing it on the other side. Yeah. I know. So I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm just going to oh. say sayonara, adios, abiento. I'll see you soon because when you're living in 5D, we're connecting all the time energetically through right. the energy pipeline. So I'm sending you much love and just saying bye for now. And you know how to contact Dr. London. Take care for now. See you Thanks, next Jamie. Time. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista to you. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow.